Hello, I wanted to show you the blimp I will be taking to the International Airship Regatta in Friedrichshaven next week. I named it Lil Ghost, in keeping with the Halloween spirit, and it's a ton of fun to fly. The idea with this blimp was to make something with very good maneuverability. The regatta is an indoor race, and you have to go around this track. And this will be my first time going, and I didn't trust my piloting skill would be good enough, so I wanted a blimp that could turn nice and quickly. So, in addition to the rear-mounted propeller, uh, which you'd be familiar with if you've seen my previous uh, videos, this blimp also has a front-mounted propeller that produces thrust in the reverse direction. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, if you've seen my previous videos, you may know that fins, or propellers, placed towards the tail of a blimp increases stability, while if they are placed towards the nose of the blimp, they decrease stability. So when you're traveling in a straight line, stability is good. It keeps your blimp headed where you want it to go. But when you want to turn, you don't want stability. Stability is something you have to fight against. So when this propeller on the nose starts spinning against the flow of air, it produces a massive spike of instability, which makes it turn much more easily. And it gives this blimp a snap spin ability like no other particularly a blimp of this high of an aspect ratio. Even at full speed, the blimp can turn completely around in less than a ship length. About two meters in this case. Of course, a propeller on the front also introduces drag, slowing the blimp down. So when you don't need extra maneuverability, say you're flying outside or something and you don't need to make those sharp turns, uh, the blimp can fold the propeller against the envelope, so it's out of the way. Although it wasn't the main goal of this blimp, another interesting feature I found of the twin vectored, vectored thrust engines is it has strong, true 3D movement capabilities. What that means is that the blimp can move in any direction at all. It can go straight sideways, straight up, straight down, or even backwards. The only problem is the controls are very clumsy. Managing the two vectored thrust motors with direct controls, i.e. a human just fiddling with a stick, is difficult. But if someone had computerized control capabilities, cough cough, like Aerobot X has, cough cough, they might be able to turn something like this into a useful drone with excellent station keeping. Also, because the motors are very high thrust to weight ratio, uh, producing 70 grams of thrust in this case and yet only weighing 7 grams, uh, the blimp can lift an impressive amount. Uh, it lifts more than twice of its own total weight. Uh, that's of course weight empty, it weighs nothing when it's filled with lifting gas. Um, there's a... Uh, that's something that I'm not particularly interested in right now, I mean that could change, but it's not something I'm really working on. But uh, perhaps it might be useful to others if they want to explore this a bit more. I think something pretty impressive could be made. Anyway, uh, this is the blimp I'll be taking to Germany. And thank you for watching and wish me luck in the competition. I have a feeling I will need it.